everybody, Jason back again with another model review and sort of look over. And I've been making a lot of models, all sort of Star Trek related. Well, all they all are Star Trek related. Um, but <laughs> basically my whole goal has become I'm going to have every single version of the Enterprise that has existed. And I'm very close. Um, I think I have two more versions of the Enterprise left to show up at my house for me to make. And uh, that's it. But uh, the one that I have in my hands, it's going to be different, and it is <laughs> the NASA Space Shuttle. Uh, so this is a 1N144 NASA Space Shuttle from Minicraft Models. Um, I'm not sure quite when this kit came out, but I mean, this is from 2016. But it's basically a fairly basic space shuttle model, uh, allowing you to build one of four... Uh, space shuttles, the Atlantis, Discovery, Endeavor, and of course, the Enterprise. The one that never actually went to space and was seen off <laughs> by, the, uh, by the crew of the Starship Enterprise, the original series. So let's take a look at the actual model. Uh, it was actually, a f I would actually consider it to be like a fairly simple build. Um, the model kit wasn't as good as some of the other stuff. Like the Star Trek models, aside from like the way that the pieces fit together on the on the older ones, I mean they went together really well. All the pieces fit well. They're modeled fantastically. This one, not so much, but I made it work. Um, and uh, let's just go over everything. So you have your shovel compartment here with a satellite or payload inside. You have your United States and Enterprise logos, the door hatch, and then uh, all sorts of extra little decals as well. The only issue that I had with this one is the uh, the decals were kind of crummy, and the doors actually do have a hinge, um, but the hinges they're just they're very weak. Um, I guess it's probably because the actual space between. Um, the hinges or between side to side is actually smaller than what the hinges actually allow so you have to kind of bend it in there in the first place but all in all it works um, it's a nice model it took a bit of paint <laughs> but yeah I did everything by hand um, using the reference points that the uh, model instructions gave me and ended up with really nice looking uh, space shuttle and I'm very happy with it I'm glad to add it to my collection and there will be other enterprises um, being added to the collection shortly. So let me let me know what you think down below. Of course, how do you how do you like the model? Do you like space shuttles? I I do. I like sort of seeing them in the era where you'd see them on the back of the uh, on the 747s as they get transported around, or they they take off and try to land um, for practice. I think I actually rem do I remember this one sort of doing its practice runs. Anyway, but yeah. Let me know. Do you think that this Enterprise fits alongside this Enterprise? <laughs> yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.